Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing very well. And uh, so uh, today's goal is to create a web server in AWS Cloud and install that uh, HTTP server in there. And with the help of our index.html file, we are going to display uh, an HTML page, a static HTML page. And this this website or this page will be accessible from our public internet. So uh, are you guys ready for all the fun? And we'll all be, we'll be able to do this entire thing in just less than five less than 10 minutes so are you ready let's go and log into AWS management console so when you when you'll google it and just open this link it will take you to AWS management console yeah you'll have to sign into your console and then uh, let's navigate to our ec2 instances web page web console and in here You'll see I currently have no instances running my uh, uh, region is North Virginia and to, to launch an instance I'll go to running instances. This is the easy to management console and you can access everything from here. You can see in the left bar instances, instance types, everything will be there. All the AMIs, temp shots, volumes, everything will be there. You can set up security group and all the options are, options are given right here. So uh, without wasting time, we'll get back to business and launch our Easter instance. Now we have to select our uh, an AMI in AWS Cloud for long for launching an instance. AMI. What do you uh, mean by AMI? AMI is just something uh, an image of an operating system which will be used to uh, boot up your uh, instance like we do in our traditional systems right we have been uh, doing quite a lot with windows like when we boot up our instance we replace the uh, os with our windows version and then we do it this is a similar process it's just the when when while booting the instance the ami or the os system image which will be used is coming from aws so we'll choose this free tier eligible linux to ami and we'll go forward now this is the second step we chose the AMI which was the first step this is the second step where we have to choose the instance type so these are all the uh, instance types which are available we will choose T2 micro here and then uh, because this is free tier uh, eligible we'll uh, otherwise we'll end up paying some cost to AWS so we'll select T2 micro which is free tier and then configure instance details so these are all the instance detail details like which VPC you have to create it in subnet or some IAM rules you need to assign and something which is of very great importance to us the user data script so we'll, I'll go and type this user data script here so what this script is doing you can see is this is a bin, uh, bin bash and it will just uh, install httpd service and start it on the Linux instance in the boot on the boot time so you can see all the commands which are there these are standard commands and we what we are doing is we are just putting this this is our uh, HTML body and we are uh, putting this that thing in this uh, HTML index.html file so bear with me and paste this you will be uh, able to get this code snippet from down there in the description and let's go to the next step now we'll add a storage so uh, if you don't want to uh, pay any price to AWS so just don't add any additional uh, storage because this storage is, uh, comes as default and you will not be charged for it as, as long as it is under the free tier limits so let's go and add tags and tags will add tag of name which will be a name given to this instance and it will be my uh, EC2 instance for HTTP service. So now I'll uh, configure uh, configure the security group. Security groups are like a firewall, uh, like a firewall, and it will guard your instance against accidental or uh, malicious uh, access. So uh, we have this uh, SSH uh, port range available for everyone. This will help us uh, dig into our EC2 instance and go SSH into it if, uh, if we need it in the future. And I'll go on port 80. It's, we have to uh, open port 80 because uh, HTTP server runs on port 80, and so it needs to be open. I am currently using 0000 slash 0 because I want it to be accessible from my public internet. I'll just open a new tab and access it from access it from here. So I'll review and launch, and I'll review everything. Okay, my security group is uh, okay. 
and everything seems good now let's launch our instance for key pair i would suggest you uh, always uh, keep your key pairs very safe and i'll just create a new key pair here and i'll say test ec2 http service and then i'll download key pair my key pair is downloaded as you can see and then i'll just go and launch instance so now everything is done our instance will be launched in quite some time now um uh, not that much time but yeah it will take a minute or two because we are we have given it in uh uh user script to run and this takes some time it slows down slows down the boot time because everything is getting installed uh, right in the right from the boot time so yeah i'll let's just wait and see okay this is running now and uh, you can see all the details here and uh, this is our instance id and this is a t2 micro and this is exactly how we selected everything and in the details panel you can see our ec2 instance already has this public ip and this private ip so they have a uh, very particular significance when it comes down to the configurations but for our scope of uh, just creating a static website on a uh, on a linux server on cloud uh, all these things are not really necessary well what we need here is our uh, public ec2 public ip address from where we can access our ec2 instance through our web page now this web host name you see here public DS, dns we can use this dns to access our http service which will be running in our ec2 instance so when we whenever we are um, making our website what we need to do is just replace the index.html file with your uh, website uh, index.html file and uh, keep all the dependencies right there in that folder and then you you can use uh, your uh, domain name or you can use your uh, a website which you can buy from any third party vendor like godaddy or even and then you can map that c name to this this public ip address public ipv4 and this will uh, this will come handy when you uh, practice everything and you search about dns names and everything how to host your website and uh, all that stuff but currently we just want to access it one time and we are not creating a so sophisticated website so we'll just access it here to see if everything is working on our server and uh, it is almost done see here yeah, you can see in the instance the checks are uh, passing and there's an instance the instance is in running still give it a name let's name it uh, test ec2 for http service cool there we go and now what we'll do we'll just copy this click and then we'll go and there it is so this is if you remember this is what we put in our um, http ht uh, html index.html file uh, using user data and uh, you can see it was it got copied http server got installed and the service got started and now we are accessing this uh, our website this is our first web website this content which is which you are uh, looking at is in the www. www and then html and then index.html file and this is how we can automate it at the runtime and you can also access this website using your ip address you can just paste an ip address and boom you are again to the same web page so thank you so much guys this is for this video was for uh, creating your own website in an uh, ec2 instance in aws cloud thank you very much for bearing with me and it was really nice having you in this uh, tutorial and we'll be coming up with everything else soon enough and this is just an introductory video and this is the way you can uh, create your own website and your web server and configure it at runtime on aws within less than uh, within uh, like under 10 minutes you can just create your own website and connect to your ec2 instance you can you can do so many uh, stuff with uh, aws cloud so this is just one part of automation which which is so wonderful and you can see and all you need is one uh, your website and you just have to dump your website here and your website your we static website or your dynamic website will, will be all up and running so thank you so much guys and it was a pleasure talking to you thank you so much subscribe and like and we'll see each other again in the next video